Okay, uh, today we're gonna steam some blue crabs. We'll show you how to do it, how we do it here in uh, Alabama, South Alabama. Okay, here's a pot we're gonna be using right here. It's a steam pot. Rack that we'll be putting the blue crabs on. And we're going to use just vinegar. You can use apple cider or just uh, clear distilled uh, white vinegar. I'm going to use white vinegar and uh, then uh, Budweiser. That's all we're going to use besides the seasoning. And uh, we're going to go get some crabs and get started. This here is the field line. That's where you rack sits. You want it below that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. Put the Budweiser beer in there. I like to cook with a Budweiser beer. You can use any type of beer you want. But. There's one. Get the other one in here. We're gonna put some vinegar. And the vinegar helps it uh, helps pick real good. Uh, you know, not to stick in there. It helps it, you know, pick a lot better with the vinegar. It gives it a nice texture. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go uh, inside and get the crabs. In. Okay. Okay, we got the crabs here, and I'll show you just how you do it. You got crabs that I called a while back, and they have been in my freezer. Some people tell you that you have to cook live. That is not true. Simply not true. As long as. Uh, they, uh, you caught them, they were on ice the whole time, and then straight to the freezer, you're okay with freezing them like that hole and then get them whenever you want to. But when you buy them from somebody, it's good to get them live because, just to be on the safe side, but these I caught myself. Anyway, we're gonna stack them over here. We got our vinegar and Budweiser down there. Got the rack, we're gonna just set them in here. Season them. We're gonna layer them in there. It's beautiful blue crabs here. This is how we do it in Alabama. Okay, let me get some of this. I'm gonna use some crab oil on this and some garlic powder. You can use any kind of seasoning you want. This is what I prefer to use. And just sprinkle it on, sprinkle it on there. Freely. Okay, right there. like a little garlic powder on here. I love garlic. Now we're gonna start another layer. Beautiful. 
beautiful crabs right here. I love getting out there and catching my own crabs. Okay, there's another layer. We're going to sprinkle it with this good stuff here. finish layering them up and we'll be back okay. okay we got them all in here that we're going to do today you can see they're layered we got the seasoning on there we're going to fire this up right here and bring it up to uh, a bowl then we're going to put the top on it and let it go for about 20 minutes we normally do them 20 to 25 minutes depending on the size of the crabs all that good stuff. So we're going to fire it up and uh, let it come to a boil and then we're going to put the top on it. We'll be back in a little bit. There. Okay. I think we're boiling now. You see the steam? Really it's a lot easier if you bring it up to a boil first because you can see through that bottom tray. Bring it up to a boil first then put the crabs and season them layer them and all that good stuff. But this way is okay too. Starting the steam right here so that means the water's uh I mean the uh, 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 liquids at the bottom have come to a boil. We're coming to a boil. We're gonna put the top on and set our time for it. 20 minutes and then check it and go from there. Okay, so we, here we are. It's been 20 minutes. I checked them and I went on ahead and I uh, left them on there for another five minutes. So about 25 minutes while I steam these at and they are ready looking delicious oh man look at this and look at this get a couple of these out I'm ready to grub right here and while these were steaming I also made me some dip right here and I'll have to put the, re the recipe on there another time on the dip there's a dip right there. Anyway, I'm getting ready to grub. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see y'all later. <laughs>